Um, so, I, you know, the Lord said to me, we're, we're, it's a new, new um, he said, it's a new day. It's a new day of, uh, that we're breaking through. It's, and it's, you know, when you're breaking through hard ground, when you're breaking through and you're, you're going to plant something, it's a lot of work. Yes. It's not always so easy. You know, you have to get all the rocks out. You have to, you have to, um, you know, break through that hard terrain. But that's the Lord saying it's, it's not by might. It's not by power. He said it's by my spirit that I will cause this shaking and I will cause this breaking to break off. And so one of the things that, where's my phone at? Um, I just need my phone. Um, one of the things that um, God uh, wants to break off of us is like this, this looming thing over us of defeat, of where, oh, you know what? I'm good with going to church. I haven't had too much of a breakthrough in my life. I've been this way. Nothing's happening. That's, that's like a covering that has come over. I'm talking about the church at large. That's, that's something that, that just has tried to blind us and not let us see really who we are in Christ and, and the authority that we have. And, um, and the Lord says we are the army. We are that Joel 2 army. He's saying blow that trumpet in Zion. We are, in January, we're going to start fasting. And, you know, fasting really does break through situations in our lives. And we are going to start with 6 a.m. prayer again. And, you know, we're all called to intercede. We're all called to pray. It, the Bible says, can you not tarry with me, what, for one hour? And, um, you know, and, and, and I feel that God is awakening this part where we all gather together in unison and pray and worship together. It's really vital that we do this and, and put down. One of the things that we were all talking about on a trip was how these people were inconvenienced greatly. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to be inconvenienced, really. But they didn't care because they, they said, I am not letting anything get in my way. I'm not going to allow anything to stop me. In um, Israel, Chuck had this, um, he was preaching, and I took a picture of it, and it says here, will you postpone your future or gain momentum? And, and that's what I was thinking about in Deuteronomy 1. How long are we going to stay on this mountain? How long will there be unbelief or lethargy? Or, yeah, 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 then you go back to the same old, same old when you go home. Yeah, like, I don't know about you, but I, I said, Lord, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to move forward. And I know what that is, is, is me yielding and praying and getting inconvenienced, getting up when he says to get up to pray coming out to prayer, uh, you know, meditating on the word. You know, we, we, read, we have marvelous books out there, and I like to read, but we have to get the word in us. The word is supernatural. It's the word of God. It's the word known, the power of the name of Jesus. We were singing about Jesus. Listen, Jesus can set you free. Jesus is our deliverer. Jesus, listen, I heard Lance Wallnow say, and I think it was on a podcast or something. It was just this week. He said, the pharmaceutical company has taken over deliverance for the church. Did anybody hear that? Right? And I'm like, that is so right on. Not opposed to anyone, you know, whatever you need, you know, whatever. But Jesus came to set the captives free. Jesus came to uproot root systems in us that have kept us in bondage where the enemy is saying to you on this mountain, this is your lot. You're stuck here. You, you've been in covenant with the lie, and we're going to break covenant with lies today because the enemy is fighting, but Jesus destroyed the enemy, took the keys away from him, and there's a deliverance power that God wants us to know that we can operate in. Every single one of us are called to walk in that and to break the chains. We were singing it. This isn't just song service. This is reality of what God is saying to us. The enemy has messed with our minds long enough where half the people think they're stinking crazy and that they can't get out of the message they're in. And God is saying, you have my mind. You have the mind of Christ. But do we believe what word is saying? I said, Lord, where I had just, I, I, he was showing me, he's saying, listen, you don't believe me when I'm telling you about certain things that I'm going to cause breakthrough because you question me. And I said, Lord, help my unbelief. Yeah. Yeah. 
Help my unbelief, oh God. And you know, so what am I doing? I'm getting the scriptures. I'm meditating on the word. I'm like, Lord. And you know what? It's like Popeye, the sailor man. Remember, he ate his spinach and his muscles grew. That's what the word does. And I'm like, Lord, you are changing my eyesight here. So in Israel, I'm, I was happy in the row I was in, and, and they're calling me to come up front. And I'm like, oh. So I go sit up front. They had, uh, it was called a gathering of the clans. And they had um, people on this band that came. It, it was just a, a uniting of these groups that normally are at war with each other. From Wales, from Scotland, from Ireland. We're in the land of Israel. And there are other, they're English people, British. You know, and so, all right, that's cool. We're there. I'm like, hmm, whatever. So worship's going on. And the power of God hits. I haven't experienced something like this in a long time, right? I'm in the front row, not real happy about it. And I'm sitting there, and I mean, this I hear footsteps come in. Like, I, 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 everything was drowned out, and I'm hearing these footsteps come in, and I'm like, no, Lord, not now. Not now, God. And I'm standing there, and I am weeping. And the power of God's on I can't open my eyes if I tried. And I'm standing there. And I have James Vincent from Gloria Zion, that sheet, chunk, and I am losing uh, my marbles here. Hysteria, and I'm horrified. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I'm trying to be very dignified and not, you know, and I'm like, and so my, my dear friend John Price is making fun of me as I'm going through my, my encounter with the Lord, but he doesn't know. I don't want to give him a snack. I couldn't, I couldn't respond to anything, you know, and I'm like, and I'm weeping, and I couldn't, I just, it was just, powerful so what I see is this I see I hear these footsteps and I hear angels walking in and they're carrying the mercy seat and on the mercy seat is the blood of Jesus dripping off this mercy seat and and I'm and I'm watching it and I and he's saying my mercy is not just forgiveness it's a force it's a power my mercy, my kindness, and my compassion breaks through the generations. And I see the, the blood come down to the root system in the land of Israel. And I see it coming down. He's saying, my mercy is setting this land free. And then it went to the nations, and it came here. And he said, my, my mercy and my blood is setting free your bloodlines. My mercy, my mercy is, is, is releasing my compassion and my kindness he said my mercy my mercy and then he was pouring uh, I, I'm assuming it was oil I don't know some stuff on me and and I'm and I'm and I am I mean lose I have one eye with eye makeup the other no I'm I mean and I'm like dear God why now you know he's like you're gonna lose all dignity when when I'm showing up and I said Lord then I of course I, I'll be honest with you I said why are you talking to me about mercy? Why did you say something else about revival or something? <laughs> and um, the Lord's like, hmm. So, um, so the Lord was just speaking to me about his kindness and his mercy. So I started looking up some scriptures on his mercy. And, you know, the Lord says in James, as we know, mercy triumphs over judgment. And, and God wants us to understand that he's for us. There's a covenantal promise. He wants us to have our inheritance. He wants us to gain that momentum, not dwell on the mountain any longer, not have things postponed any longer, but he wants the mercy, he wants us to understand that we have access to come before the throne room of grace boldly. We have that access, but sometimes because of our reasoning, we punish ourselves. Or we think we've really messed up, or we, we've done this wrong, or, or we just don't believe God. And the Lord's saying, thy mercies, I didn't even have time to look a lot of this up because I wasn't going to share in it today, but in Lamentations it says, my mercies are new every morning. And I, it, like, it hit me, and he's like, he's like I, my kindness is so right there for you. My kindness and my mercy is so right there for you to have breakthrough and freedom in your life. It's there. Thy mercies are new every morning. Yes. 